Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I want to start off this video by letting you know that EA has confirmed that the next game in their franchise is going to be based on or inspired by Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, which was the highlight of the Battlefield franchise, according to Vince Sampella, the head of Respawn and Group GM for EA Studios organization. So now I'm quickly going to change topic here and focus on the gameplay that you see in front of you. I'm about to encounter a trench raider and I had a really good way of dealing with him this time. Uh, a lot of luck involved of course. However, if you want to see one of my most epic moments as a trench raider, you want to check out my main channel where I also live stream. I promise you, you're going to see some of the most crazy moments ever with the trench raider on this very same map, I might add. My main channel can be found in the description. He's coming to you. Don't see him. I got him. Oh, you got nice. him. Yeah. So now, whether you agree with Vince Sampella or not, I think uh, there's a lot of people that would say that the highlight of the Battlefield franchise is the game that you're watching right now, Battlefield 1, but, uh, well, what do I know? Now, I'm reading this announcement on IGN Nordic, and the very interesting thing reading this article, it's almost as if the journalist has been instructed not to even mention Battlefield 1. I'm getting the feeling that DICE are ashamed of um, not being able to replicate Battlefield 1 with its enormous success. And uh, we all know that the drama around Battlefield 1 is basically this. Battlefield 1 was by far, or maybe not by far, but the most successful game in the Battlefield franchise, according to DICE and EA themselves, before the drama with Battlefield 5 because obviously Battlefield 5 was a massive failure and it was unfortunately made by the same people that made Battlefield 1 and this drama caused basically all of their uh, important developers to leave the studio and this is probably due to the fact that uh, the original developers making the success of Battlefield 1 they didn't want to make Battlefield 5 the way it turned out, and they most certainly did not want to do the continuation of this failure, which was Battlefield 2042. So they left the studio, and a whole new um, group of people had to be hired or redirected in order to finish Battlefield 2042, and both Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 42 probably was confirmation from the original DICE developers making Battlefield 1 that they were right. And obviously there are some high-level people in EA and maybe on DICE as well who don't want to be reminded of how wrong they were and how much of a failure they created with these two games. Now again, back to Battlefield 1 which you're watching here. This is another example of how challenging it can be to stay alive when you are being hunted, targeted, and focus fired on thousands of times more than all other pilots that's ever played this game combined. And no, that is not an exaggeration. Every stream proves the same thing over and over again. Oh yes, the streams. That's uh, on my main channel, again, in the description. So again, back to the article, I'm just picking some parts here. Uh, they're mentioning Battlefield 2042 quite a lot, so and uh, obviously oh, yeah. they do not want to repeat the experience they had with 2042, even though they don't want to call Battlefield 2042 a failure of a game. Yeah. Now, it seems to me that uh, a lot of the criticism that, uh, well, we the players have given DICE over the years has um, maybe uh, sunk in now because yeah, one of the things he's saying is that we want it to be good out of the gate and obviously this is a reference to the criticism that DICE have had especially when it comes to Battlefield 2042 that uh, they released what a lot of players call an unfinished product and uh, this time they don't want to make that mistake. Now I'll be honest to say that there are plenty of other games in the franchise that had this issue where the game just takes a long time to patch to be playable to the 
you know, to most people. And of course, many of us, we experience this very differently. My worst experience with an unfinished game from DICE would be Battlefield 3. Many people that I've talked to say that Battlefield 4 had a worse release. That being said, I want to point out that this is not a DICE or EA specific problem. There has been so many games that have been released barely playable, and by the time that they fixed the problems, many of us have already forgotten that game and moved on. <laughs> no! Uh. So now, I'd like to know from you, what do you expect from the next Battlefield game? Uh, are you happy with uh, DICE going back to a uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 type games, uh, gaming experience? Or as they said before, uh, a uh, tremendous live service. Uh, that, na that expression wasn't in the article as far as I could see, but maybe I just missed it. Anyway, maybe, um, maybe they realized that that wasn't really as catchy as it might have seemed the first time. I don't know. So share your thoughts in the comment section and uh, let's keep the discussion going. Big thanks for watching and I hope I'll catch you in the next live stream. Holy moly, there's a lot of explosions happening here. <laughs> no! <laughs> there was a lot of them. Turn this around. Starting off by taking out a No! I didn't even see that the tank. I was trying to kill that. Look sharp. That soldier's one of theirs. We have taken objective. Enemy machine gun. Whoa! Oh, oh the hell is the ship up there? <laughs> uh, that was cinematic.
objective butter. We have lost objective apples. Objective button. Oh, these idiots. No, oh, what? Another one. Disabled. Dead. 